that one's typically yellow in the middle, but will turn blue. The uh, Folded Leaf asked me to come down and talk about mushrooms. They know of my involvement with the West Virginia Mushroom Club. Um, so they asked you know, to come down and do one of their wellness workshops uh, and kind of teach people about uh, mushrooms and you know, kind of where to start. So I'd say that most people that are familiar with mushrooms in West Virginia learned you know, from an older family member uh, foraging for morels or chanterelles or oysters or chicken of the woods. Um, which is, I think is great. They're all delicious mushrooms. Uh, what we're doing is kind of trying to take it a step beyond that um, to learn about everything that may not be edible but is still connected to our forest. You know, mushrooms that work with, you know, trees and other plants like that. Um, so it's really good to kind of like learn where you live. Like it makes you feel more connected to your home state. And because they had a local course on foraging and I find that a lot when I'm in some of the higher elevations. I hadn't really found any in this area so when Folded Leaf um, offered this one I just was excited about it. Typically we'll start with a presentation at the Folded Leaf. Um, we'll go over um, like I said, common edible mushrooms and their lookalikes, deadly species. Um, after the learning part, we come down here to the park. Uh, we walk for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours, um, find everything we can, uh, identify it in the field. Uh, what we can identify in the field, we'll bring back to the folded leaf and uh, sit down and go over together. West Virginia is kind of lucky in that we're situated in you know, the Appalachians and the Appalachians have some of the best diversity for mushrooms on the planet. But we're lucky in that we have all the cool stuff here. Um, I'd put our mushrooms up against any mushrooms anywhere on, on earth. They're just really neat. West Virginia is interesting just because like so much of the state is covered with dense forests. It tends to have a lot more humidity. Um, so that moisture tends to sustain a bit more of the mushroom growth. I mean, we kind of walk past mushrooms every day of our life until we kind of get into them and then we see them everywhere. So now every one of these people is just going to start seeing mushrooms everywhere that they didn't before. Um, so it's kind of like cool to open a new world that people never noticed before and now they're kind of like, you know, dipping their toes in and, and kind of can start their own journey that way.